Hello, it is Alice, and um, I am happy to be with you. Um, we are going to get into a tarot reading. Um, I King of Cups. Okay, cool. We're gonna we're gonna put him back and see see what we get once we kind of redirect the energy. But that's a that's a good. Y'all know I like the King of Cups if you watch me. <laughs> Uh, I have a crush on him, I guess. Um, okay, <laughs> Clarissa too. Um, I hope you are all doing well. Hit the like button if you have not already, and if this remotely resonates with you, um, it will help my baby um, channel. <laughs> okay, Nine of Swords. What's up with that? Um, Nine of Swords is regret. Um, it's sleepless nights. Uh, I wonder what this has to do with our King of Cups that came out. Um, let's see, Spirit, tell us. Okay, let's see here. This is interesting. So it's like there is regret that kind of ceases something moving forward. And I'm not sure if I'm seeing this progressing to you being in the Nine of Pentacles energy, like it's an interesting progression here and I'll talk about it. But you being in the Nine of Pentacles energy um, is really like you are at a success, really successful point where you are proud of yourself, you are reaping the um, rewards of all of your hard work, uh, you are just really coming into your own. Um, and pr But prior to you being in this Nine of Pentacles energy, there's something going on where there's like um, kind of uh, possibly like despair. Um, it's like this is... Um, like something keeping you up at night, some kind of anxiety, big thing that's been, that was really weighing on you, um, which really, and I'm not sure if this is you or like, um, that King of Cups who came out. Um, okay. Let's see what we can get. I wanted to explain that because because that's what we do in our tarot reading. <laughs> uh, let's see. King of Swords in Reverse. Okay, who is this King of Swords in Reverse? This is like a very cruel uh, person who uses his power in a, uh, like, he is very power hungry. He uh, is quick to anger. Um, the chariot. Let's see. Six of Swords, King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Okay, Clarissa. I know, but you've gotta <laughs> you've gotta let me read the cards. Don't just sit sit on them. Um what are you doing? You like that dodecahedron? <laughs> um, so let's get back to this reading. Um, so who is this King of Swords in reverse? Something is, um, some big change is coming in really fast. Um, this might have been after this whole episode that was so you were where you were so in despair um the chariot is good news so we've got good news and then it's like this is clarified like this is not the king of cups this is our king of swords in reverse 
Like somebody is, so, that is what this is. Somebody is in a king of swords who is a king of swords in your life. Somebody who um, just really, just like not a good person. Like, um, like I said, just possibly cruel, um, cold, things like that. Um, maybe somebody that you trusted that turned out to be more like that. And this person has been in despair and being kept up at night. And it's probably to do with you because he sees that you are in this nine of pentacles energy, which is like, you're on top of it. You're on top of the world. You're having all your successes coming in. And this is your previous partner who was really not good to you. Like that's really the bottom line of the king of swords in reverse is that he's just somebody who's really not going to be good to you. Like he might even be um, he's often intentionally mean or just um, neglectful, things like that. Um, and there was something, something that, um, uh, like six of wands, that's like uh, somebody who's really proud of themselves, like a, a success story, kind of like a successful um like a successful project, something that is really coming to a good point of like a, some kind of victory is often what you think. And so this is in reverse. So it's like not at all. This is something bad that has come to um, an end. Um, and they're there and there is some kind of to do about the fact that something has um, been going on. There is like controversy or drama about it, something like that. Um, and this is really like this person is held up and, um, unable to get their energy moving, um, because they're in this despair. Um, there is an ace of swords in reverse here, and this could be this person who at their attitude towards you, they're, um, really, uh, antagonistic of you this king of swords in reverse so you are quickly moving on from this is what i'm seeing like you're quickly moving on from this scenario and that might be why he's still coming out as the king of swords in reverse like and why this is coming up is because this person is still like hung up on you um but there is a king of pentacles coming in uh the King of Pentacles is really reliable. He is um, somebody who is sort of like a fatherly figure. He's a caretaker. He is kind and reliable. I said that. Um, and so this is somebody who, handsome, well off, um, probably has lots of kitties. Um, <laughs> Because who wouldn't want more cats if you had more money? Um, and dogs. Um, anyway, King of Pentacles. Yeah, this he's he's um, really lovely. So it's like you are moving on very quickly from this King of Swords in reverse and moving into the chariot is like a big energy coming forward and you are moving on and that's like happening fast. That's what the Six of Wands is. It's Or Six of Swords, I'm sorry. It's all about like moving on. Um, and moving on to this someone new. Um, and this person is going to fight for you. They are going to help. Like they're going to, they're going to have your back. Um, they are going to be like a reliable protector in your life. Um, we have the magician in reverse. Um, so... Let's see. Ten of Swords in reverse. There might be something that goes wrong with this when it starts. Like you're moving on to this good thing, but then there's it turn turns into like, or this might be like the drama with this ex person. 
um, the magician in reverse. Because what you're defend what you're defensive about is like this past relationship. Like he's going to be your defender and um, wants to help protect you from would be foes. Um, and obviously, like this King of Swords in reverse is one of those people. We have the magician coming out in reverse. And this is somebody who doesn't wield their power for good. And there is a Ten of Swords in reverse that is um, <laughs> Clarissa. Kitty. Um, there is the Ten of Swords in reverse, which is, um, it is all about being uh, able to move on to a different timeline because one has come to an end. This is really about defeat, this card. Like somebody is going to be defeated. There's a defeat and I'm seeing that as you're going to defeat this person who's coming at you. Let me make sure you can see. Okay. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Lovers in reverse. And Justice in reverse. Let's see. Two of Pentacles, it's like you're having to juggle these two, the King of Pentacles and this King of Swords. It's like you're having to juggle these two um, and navigate this. This is throwing you off your game when it comes to this type of person coming in. It's like the conflict and you still having to be involved with this person is keeping you from it's it's inhibiting you from coming together with this king of pentacles that's what i'm saying so you haven't gotten your divine justice it's like yet to come in because he is going to be your justice him and this person in your life yeah so seven of pentacles in reverse. It's like, but you're knowing that, you know that this is going to be, like you know know what's going on. Like you, you re realize this, you recognize this, and this is like where you're going to take control over, over it, over it. Um... The Nine of Cups in reverse here, uh, it's like you're not getting the successes that you should be getting. Like, as you're in, you should be in this Nine of Cups, I mean, sorry, Nine of Pentacles energy, but instead you're ending up in this Nine of Cups in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse energy, which is, these are all about like, like the fruits of your labor sort of coming in and you need to keep on track with what you're working on to keep continue seeing the fruits of your labor come in. Um, but in reverse here, it's like it's not really, like you're kind of missing the mark, like things that you're working on are kind of um, might, uh, th and this might be in the past or the future too, but might uh like both suffer and you might just be dissatisfied with what's coming out and you're realizing it's like what you really want is this love picture and it's really causing you to um like the nine of cups in reverse it is like upturning your ability to come into to like come into this relationship and um your like this is like you are not manifesting right now. This is why it's like you haven't come into your justice. It's because some this other person is like distracting you and um, interfering in your life. We have the devil in reverse. So this is like a sign. So in reverse, the devil gets better 
and it's like a sign that um, things are not like as bad as they seem. So this is going to see, feel like a crappy moment when it's like all comes washing in the, this whenever this came in, where it's like your the relationship is just gone awry, um, even though this is somebody really good for you. Um, but this is like, okay, this isn't as bad as it seems. This person doesn't have as much a hold on me, on me as it seems. Um, the three of swords in reverse. Let's see. And the queen of wands. Here's the queen of wands. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Three of Swords in reverse. Queen of Wands. This might be really, this is really heartbreaking, whatever has happened with this. Like, it's Devil in reverse, so it's not going to be that bad. But, like, this is something that really does, like, end up, it, like, really hurt hurt you. Um, and just kind of left you feeling like it, I mean, it was just hard to recover from this. This is like the, um, left out in, in the cold card, the five of pentacles. Um, and so this is really about like feeling like others were not able to help you. You just didn't know how to access, um, love really. have the seven of pick your poison This is just really, you are in, if this is putting you in Queen of Wands energy. So you've stepped up to a Queen energy. Um, the Queen of Wands is uh, creative. She is um, funny. She is uh, articulate. She is um, very attractive. Um, the Queen of Wands is um, able to transform energies. She is very t in touch with, like, the creative sexual energy of the universe. Um, like, the in the womb of the universe, she is in it. And um, here, it's like there is a lot of shadow work that she is needing to do or has done. And it's like there's a lot of different things that have happened that that she's needing to go back and revisit, um, like this King of Swords in reverse and everything that was like the trauma to do with that. It's like she has to go back into, like she has to go back into the um, darkness in order to, um, in order to like rise above this, like in order to work through her shadow, she has to sort of figure out how to navigate this scenario. Temperance in reverse, four of wands in reverse, king of cups in reverse. Hmm. Let me get a couple more strength. Queen of Pentacles. In reverse. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sorry, I just got lost in it. Um, 
I just like the energy here. Um, temperance is coming out in reverse. So it's like, this is just a really difficult time because it's like all of your balance is off. It's, it's like we're seeing like somebody who has yet to actually come in. And this could be somebody different than this King of Pentacles. Um, it could be the same person, but it's come, he's coming in as the King of Cups in reverse here with the Four of Wands in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse is about like, or Four of Wands is like a wedding of some kind and like a, a gathering. There could be something like a social event or like a, some kind of celebration that marks the end of a end of a season, like a harvest, or um, this could be a celebration such as a wedding, um, like I was saying, but there's something to do with this and the King of Cups, the Four of Wands in reverse is like, there's something that um, it just like hasn't, it hasn't come in, quite come in yet. Like there's nitpicky things that are keeping it from coming in the four of wands in reverse is not as bad as the i mean it's not um is one of the cards that is uh the four of wands is um pretty much the same as it is in the upright when it's in reverse gosh i couldn't can't talk um but it's just kind of the energy of moving towards this celebration is uh, just, it's kind of, it's a little bit more tricky to navigate. There might be snags and things like that. Um, and this could also have to do with why the King of Cups is coming in reverse. And I, I am seeing it might be, like he might be yet to come in sort of like that along with this wedding yet to come in, but there's a collaboration happening of some sort. And then it's like, you might come into this union and it might have something to do with like work um it might be somebody or somebody that you're going to collaborate with um with something that you're working on um okay so i'm seeing strength in the upright so it's like through all this you're hanging on to your strength even though there's um the queen of pentacles in reverse um might have trouble with something like with like money with finances um she might be unwise in certain areas but she is like moving on from this energy um the eight of pentacles in reverse it's like work that's not paying off um but she's <sighs> empress in reverse it's like you're dancing on the cusp but this is like a ups and downs um after you've moved away from this King of Swords in reverse. Uh, it's just like still been ups and downs. And um, Page of Wands. Um, like you're on your journey, you just haven't quite, it's like, it just hasn't quite snapped into place yet. The Page of Wands carries a message of some kind, some kind of um, project or something coming in. But it's, it, this is something that is going to take a while and it might be um, a little slower with the rewards that you are reaping but 
um, it turns out that it might be better for you to work by yourself, I'm seeing, instead of in a some sort of collaboration with anyone, especially a King of Cups in reverse. Like that could be another person. We have an Emperor in reverse. So this might be why you're coming out as the Empress in reverse. That might be this King of Cups in reverse who's now turned into Emperor in reverse. And I'm not sure um, if this is like meant to be like, is this a good person for you? Or is this somebody who is like a false, like this could be like a false twin um, coming in, like a false, like a false soulmate, somebody who seems like a soulmate, seems like a twin flame, but, um, which is very different, but um, like turns out not to be, turns out to be more like the shadow of, your twin or a lower vibrational version. Um, Hierophant in reverse, yeah. So this is somebody who's like put themselves out there as like a wise, um, person like in the realm of spirituality and things like that this could be um but this is a person in re in reverse so this is like a false guru of some kind someone who is manipulating power um he's this person this emperor in reverse is also coming out as the hierophant in reverse which is just making me feel like um so this is is this a wheel what is this in this deck come on let me make sure that this is okay no that's this is judgment okay yeah this is judgment This is like you have a mental reckoning about whoever this is. This could be that this King of Pentacles back here turns out to be more of a King of Cups in reverse, like overly emotional. Um, not emotional, I shouldn't say that, like just inappropriately emotional, like uses, uses emotions to like manipulate you, like sort of knows how to fake emotions basically. Um, and then he's coming out as the emperor in reverse. So it's like this person was masking as somebody who was meant for you, but it couldn't ever work because when, if you're not with the right person, then you're not ever going to be able to completely align. Like first you have to be in harmony with yourself, but if you were bonded in a relationship, especially a sexual relationship with somebody who is lower vibrational, then you are less than you are not going to be able to flip into the polarized energy of the divine feminine or the divine masculine. Feel free to reverse the roles here. Um, but uh, yeah, so this, but you're going to realize this and have a reckoning about it um and there's going to be see there is going to be somebody coming in um a king of wands so this is like back to like you are the king see and he's coming out right on top of the queen of wands the ace of cups is like is like a new love The King of Wands is charismatic, he's charming, he's handsome, he is funny, creative, um, he is witty, um, and this is a new love or a fresh start coming in. High Priestess in Reverse. Five of Wands. Let's see. Page of Cups. 
universe. You're going to have a little bit of trouble. Like you might not initially say yes to this person coming in. And this is because you're worried about protecting your heart, protecting your connection with God, protecting your um, higher levels of consciousness. Um, this could also this could also be that um, the two of you are both feeling the same way. I don't know. No, I think it's just you. That's like you're worried about like coming into this kind of connection and, lo and losing yourself to somebody who's a low vibrational entity who steals your energy like these people who've come before this King of Wands. But he's not. The King of Wands and the upright is not going to be like that. You are getting this really vibrant energy from him. And he is actually the real thing. He's going to be the real thing. Um, and this could be somebody in like business or like some kind of communication. Um, anything where you use like language to, to work. Um, sales even. Um, I don't know. There's a lot more that I'm not, not thinking of. I mean like news anchor. <laughs> um, Two of Wands um, is making plans. So this is in the works. This is in the works. Yeah, he's coming out as another King of Pentacles because I guess whoever that was down there was not the King of Pentacles. Who was that? Okay, this is too confusing. Sometimes with the newer deck, it's like, I, I keep saying this to y'all, but all the little Roman numerals and stuff, and the, when they just do symbols, it's um, harder to see what the card is. But it, everything, is, everything is significant, so it really doesn't really matter. Um, if you, it's like Freudian slips, kind of, or something like that, where when you slip up in your language and it actually means something. It's the same as like if spirit slips up in their language, like doesn't communicate a card properly, um, then it's actually for a good purpose. And we have, okay, and we have the 10 of cups coming out, which is like a beautiful, happy ending to this, to this. It's like, you are going to go f get into, like the 10 of cups is like a love story. It is the, um, it is the it is the happily ever after. Um, it is one of the happiest cards in the deck, and it's like you've been working so hard for this. You've gone through so much. Um, I love that you're coming out as the King and Queen of Wands. Like that's really I think it's like the two of you are going to be a really dynamic couple, um, dynamic pair. You're going to really vibe off each other it's going to be really um like the chemistry is going to be off the charts um and this is going to be somebody that you can rely on too this is somebody um who will be there for you um and he is going to be able to provide for you um and and whatever in whatever way that resonates for you is like what you might um ideally want but this is a person who has love to give who has um care to give um and he is making plans to come towards you um or possibly come back towards you it might be somebody that you've already met often it is um so I'm going to end the reading here. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you will think about liking the video um, and subscribing. I would love to have you. Okay. Thank you. Bye.